I've always been, you know, what I'm known for, and sometimes it's a compliment and more often than not it's an insult, but I'm known for being particularly good at business. And I'm very much into understanding that when I speak to companies, I'm very much part of their marketing mix. So it's no good just taking nice shots. I want to know who their, for example, their customer is. Who's their demographic? I want to know quite specifically um, what are their goals? What are they trying to achieve out of this? I've got an enviable set of clients who I really do care a lot about. Well, Wagga Mamas is one of my favourites. I love going to Wagga Mamas. I love food. The team's great. Um, I've been working with them um, for about five years. M&S is a really important client. Um, I've been shooting for M&S for about, say, three or four years, but actually I've historically been shooting for them for 15 years. I did an, um, a photography and marketing degree. And then I assisted a guy who was a food photographer, Simon Smith. And I love food because food actually allows you to be very creative. It's actually very difficult to art direct food photography. And that was it. Fell in love with food, fell in love with food photography. And, um, and then at a ridiculously young age of, uh, I think, 23, I'd had enough of assisting. And that was it. I started out. Well, photography is a service industry, and we're, we're giving them a service and a product, which is a photograph. And effectively, that photograph has to, in some way, make the company that we're supplying that photograph money. So we're therefore part of that marketing mix. Now, that creative part of that is completely separate to the fact that, effectively, sticking on top of that creative element, you're running a business. Now, this is the single biggest problem with new photographers, is that they're very into creative, and they're not particularly think about the business. And running a business, a successful business, and when I say successful, I don't necessarily mean financial, but I mean a business that works very efficiently, the wheels are moving, uh, you're paying your tax on time, you are um, on top of invoicing, you're paying your suppliers, you're understanding exactly what tax regime you should be on, all of those sorts of stuff, and it's cash accounting, DAT, whatever it is. That has to be attached to photography if you want to be a successful photographer. You're running a business. It could be a business about anything. We happen to be in the business of photography. I happen to be in the business of food photography. And it's a very complicated thing. And all the rules that normally apply to every business also apply to photography. 